what is the difference between a nurse and a respiratory therapist? There are several differences because they are two totally different fields of study and practice. The main similarity is the fact that both are respected professions that emphasize providing the best care possible for their patients. In general, nurses do have a broader scope of practice. They must consider the whole patient and thus multiple body systems. Respiratory therapists, on the other hand, concentrate on the cardiopulmonary system. This means that they focus specifically on the patients with conditions of the heart and lungs. Nurses are provided with a general education of the entire human body. Respiratory therapists are provided with a more detailed education of the cardiopulmonary system. What tasks do respiratory therapists and nurses perform? In the field of nursing and respiratory therapy, they both have job duties that are independent of one another. With that said, there are also many tasks that overlap as well. In this part of the video, I'm just going to talk about some of the tasks that both nurses and respiratory therapists are involved with. This way, you can get an idea of the role that each one plays. Keep in mind that these are just a few common examples. Many hospitals have different requirements for their nurses and RTs. This is just a generalization. So first, we'll talk about patient assessment. Nurses are responsible for the entire body. Respiratory therapists primarily focus on the patient's breathing. Next is general patient care. Nurses are required to help with the activities of daily living, such as bathing, changing, cleaning, etc. Respiratory therapists are required to perform oral care and tracheostomy care when an artificial airway is in place. Now, this next one may seem like a silly comparison, but it is at least worth mentioning. Nurses, to some extent, are required to care for certain activities that occur below the waist. Okay, I'll say it. They have to clean up poop and pee if a patient has an accident. Respiratory therapists, on the other hand, are required to care for activities above the waist. They are required to do a lot of suctioning to get rid of mucus and secretions. Now, both of these definitely can be gross at times, but it is what it is. You do kind of get used to it over time. But when deciding between nursing and respiratory therapist, you at least have to consider which one grosses you out the most. Next, we'll talk about administering medications. Nurses can administer a wide range of medications and routes depending on a variety of patient illnesses. Respiratory therapists, on the other hand, mostly just administer cardiopulmonary medications, usually via nebulization. So nurses are definitely able to administer a wider array of medications when compared to respiratory therapists. And when it comes to patient diagnosis, both nurses and respiratory therapists help to develop a diagnosis, formulate a plan of care, and implement the needed interventions. They both also communicate directly with physicians concerning the patient's needs. Next, we'll talk about discharge planning. Nurses are always involved when a patient is discharged. Respiratory therapists are only involved when the patient needs oxygen or other types of respiratory therapy at home. Next, we can talk about mechanical ventilation. Nurses are not trained to manage mechanical ventilators, BiPAP, CPAPs, or other forms of ventilatory support. They are, however, usually provided with a general education in mechanical ventilation but typically they must call the respiratory therapist for assistance when an issue arises. Respiratory therapists, on the other hand, are fully trained to operate mechanical ventilators, BiPAPs, and CPAP devices. This includes initiation, management, and weaning from ventilatory support. Now we can talk about needle sticks. Nurses are licensed and trained to stick veins. They can initiate IV therapy for fluid management and medication deliverance. They are also trained to give shots as well. Nurses are typically not trained to stick arteries. Respiratory therapists, on the other hand, are licensed and trained to stick arteries. They can draw a sample of arterial blood to assess a patient's oxygenation and ventilation status. 
respiratory therapists are typically not trained to stick veins. So that is the primary difference. Nurses can stick veins where respiratory therapists can't, and respiratory therapists can stick arteries where nurses typically can't. So next we'll talk about the electrocardiogram or EKG. Both nurses and respiratory therapists are trained to perform electrocardiograms on all types of patients. And again, both nurses and respiratory therapists perform many other types of tasks that were not mentioned here. These are just a few common ones that overlap in both fields. So hopefully this gives you an idea of maybe which one you would prefer. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel. Also, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other resources that I think you will enjoy. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. And if you want to support the channel, be sure to drop a like on this video and you might as well go ahead and click the subscribe button while you're down there. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.